The climate is continental, extreme. We cook ourselves in summer and we freeze in winter. But from the point of view of viticulture, what is usually neglected, the thermic change during the maturation time, which is very important. Contraction during night, extraction under the sun. Contraction, extraction. This means that all of that is stored in the leaves. And the enhanced circulation helps in terms of aromatics in particular. Here we are at 750 meters above sea level, at least. We can have 35 or 38 degrees during the day, and in the evening a drop to 14 or 15 degrees. You need to wear something as it gets cold. Viticulturists were very careful with their clonal selection. They knew what vines gave the best grapes. Right before harvest, they tied the vines to then know which ones were the best. They took the tips of the plant and tied them together like this. After the harvest, they knew which ones were the best as they had marked them. And from those vines, they got samples which they used to plant a new vine. With this method, they dug a hole in the ground and they buried a branch they bent sometimes breaking it a bit. That was good, as it helped the buried section to grow roots. Trying to heal the plant grows roots and helps the growth of the new plant. Viticulture is naturally ecological, because with this sun, sometimes we have mildews. But everybody knows what times you need to apply preventative treatments. First, an initial treatment. When the grape is a little green berry, the second, and when it starts to ripen, the third. We also have downy mildew. But now we have some technical advances and we know how to control the disease and how to act against downy mildew. But years gone by, we had mildew and all was lost. We try to preserve the essence of the fruit and depending on the wine we want to make, we use one or another method. In the case of Gran Colegiata original, the Reserva, we keep it 18 months in American oak. All the wines in the winery were called Colegiata, which is the most important monument that we have here in Toro, worth visiting. And from a given time, it became called Gran Colegiata. What is special about this wine is that it was one of the first wines from Toro to be recognized internationally in a Swiss journal called Vino. I will show you the transition, as it was a change to a Bordelot bottle. Precisely in that year, 1982, it participated in a tasting of the Vino journal, which is still an important wine publication against other wines from the Duero River with those from the best-known producers of the Duero. And it was the one most liked. From there, we explode, and with us, the denomination of origin. So we have returned to the Burgundian bottle as a recognition, as we call it now the Gran Colegiata original, because of its origin. At that time, this was a wine in a very Rioja style somehow, which is what was successful in Spain at that time. Now it has become a reserva of the 21st century. It started elaborated by Manolo, the father, and this one is more the style of Manufarina, the son. Mm -hmm.